So you're new, you're confused, and you've just arrived in the coastal town of Kavala. Kavala. It isn't all that bad, especially with this lovely music covering the high gun crime. The city is booming with life. Our people are happy. I'm gonna jump. There are some beautiful places to hang out. Would pass me by. Could you? And we have some very important debates. We even have a mayor. That they were basically going to kill me. I'm Stoneman, and let me safely guide you on a few things to get you started. All new citizens are given £100,000 to spend. Let's hope you've not spent it all at the casino or at the local bars with your new friends. <laughs> To use your money, you must either go to a bank or a cash point. But be careful. These rotters are about, and they'll soon have you on the ground with their hands in your pockets. Yes, you've been robbed. So, you need to contact the emergency services. No, those phones don't work. But if you press Y, you'll see there is a mobile. If you are contacting the emergency services, please be pacific about where you are. If it was stolen, then you'll have to walk to a police station. Taxis! Huh, they're expensive. So, it's time to buy yourself a vehicle. Once you've picked up a driver's license at the DVLA, of course, you don't want to be getting into trouble with this lot. You can buy or rent vehicles in the centre of Kavala. Just press U to unlock and lock your vehicle. Running pedestrians over with your vehicle is called Vehicle Deathmatch or VDM. If you're caught, you'll be removed from the island and you'll never return. And that doesn't mean you can run in front of vehicles either. When you first start driving, you'll need to drive on the right side of the road. Every vehicle comes standard with a tool bag. Unless one of the local hobos has gone and stole it. Yeah, this does happen a lot. I can guarantee you're gonna need it. I'm just cruising with nowhere to go. I'm hitting corners, that's cruising with nowhere to go. If your tool bag has gone missing, use your mobile and text the ARAC. They'll come out and fix your vehicle for you. For a small fee. Drive carefully. If you've bought a vehicle and you don't want to lose it by one of many means, then the garage is a perfectly safe place to store it. Just speak to this happy fellow and he'll do the rest. So, you want to make some money? Well, there are many ways to make it, legally and illegally. But before you go, I suggest you head south of Govala and invest in a large, manly, small van. For now, until you make more money. Anyway, it will hold more and maximize your profits. Also, pop over to the market and stock up on food and drink. You're going to need it. There are many legal ways to make money outside of Kavala. Once you buy a pickaxe from the market, you can mine copper, iron, salt and even diamonds. You'll need to process it all before you can sell it. If you have any diving gear, you can recover treasure from shipwrecks below the sea. But if you prefer shallower water, there is a large frog swamp. Piers does pay very well for those frog legs. Oh yes. Well, a good way to start is apple farming. There are many located in Altis, all marked on your map. Once you've found one, just use the Windows key to farm the apples, then store them in your vehicle by pressing T. You can either go sell them at the market, or make cider and sell that at the bar in Kavala. All these houses, yes, they are for sale. Well, some of them. If the door is locked, 
don't break in. Excuse me. I need to use the toilet. But if it's open, you can buy it. Use the Windows key to see if you can afford it. Stop the vehicle. Put your hands up. The roads of Altis can be very dangerous. Arming yourself with a handgun at one of the many weapon shops is a smart and legal idea. Carrying an assault rifle is illegal on Altis. Or this taser pistol for around 200,000 volts running through your body, which will cause you to piss yourself. Having a weapon isn't an excuse to go and kill people. RDM or random deathmatch is taken very seriously. If you feel the need to engage in warfare, then the red zone should be your next visit. A life of crime is hard. There are many illegal operations in Altis, from bank robberies to weed to cocaine, you name it. The job is not to be taken lightly. This is a very advanced and dangerous way to make cash, but you can make a lot of it. You'll even need to process the drugs before you can get rid of it. You'll have to sell your dirty drugs to this fella here. He's located somewhere on the coastal road in Kavala. But be careful, the Rosas patrol this area, and if you're caught, you're joining these two Muppets. You're dead, and the NHS have been unable to save you. Which means this will pop up on the bottom of your screen. This is the new life rule. It's telling you that you're not allowed to return within a thousand meters of where you was killed within the time shown. <sighs> well, you're now ready to leave Kavala, either in a truck ready for work or you've been kidnapped in a helicopter. Either way, you're out and you're ready for an adventure. So, go and enjoy the Altis life and remember, don't break the rules.